Info Entertainment Reviews. NASA, today 2015, February 21st. Our sun is cooling down. This is not just one spot. This is throughout the whole sun, folks. Remember when I was a little kid, when I was five years old? I'm not trying to change the subject, but just going back a little bit here. When we were little, you folks know this. Come on now. We always used to think of the most things impossible. Our imaginations would go so far beyond limitless. We came up with the craziest things. And a lot of you people that did grow up, some of you already built and designed what you visioned when you were a little kid. And it's here. It's real. It's today. Kids back then who said, hey, cars are going to drive themselves. I'm sure some of you are already growing up and you're the ones that designed the software for these cars to drive themselves. Anyhow, what I'm saying about when I was little is I used to think about the sun. It's like, wow, what if the sun could ever cool down? Could the sun ever turn into a planet? Could that sun be a livable planet? As I speak to you today, this is today's current news from NASA. Our sun is dramatically cooling down in multiple hot areas. Yes, she's boiling. I don't think it's going to cool down in our lifetime. We'll all be passed and moved on before then. That or this world will be shattered in pieces because of the route that we're going here on our own planet. Between natural disasters and war... She can only handle so much, so she's on a verge of falling to pieces. But again, back to the sun, you guys. I always used to wonder, I'm sure many of you used to wonder when you were a kid, wow, <laughs> could the sun ever cool down? This is my question to you. And please, I would love everybody's feedback. I would love to hear what you folks have to say. What do you think would happen if the sun was to stop period you go to sleep one night wake up and it's still dark just like our light bulbs you know how our light bulbs go out or you kind of accidentally bump your light bulb and bing done no nothing what do you folks think what would happen let me say uh 24 to a 72 hour time frame now, my opinion, like how NASA stated with what's going on with the sun, if in our lifetime, if this was to ever happen, me personally, I think in 72 hours, I think this earth would turn into a solid crystal ice ball. I honestly think it would turn into a big ball of ice because without the sun, the sun is what keeps the earth pretty much warm, even though we have earth's core. That's not enough compared to what the sun does. Without that sun, gosh, we would be like that other planet NASA found years, years ago. Those who don't know, we have a planet that is solid water, guys. And I'm sure many of you who know have already checked that out for yourselves. But those who don't know, go check it out. Go Google it. Uh, I forgot what the name of these planets were. There's two of them. One is solid ice. I mean solid ice. This thing's like an ice cube you take out of your refrigerator, your freezer. And then the other one is all water. Just a big ball of water. This was found a few years ago. I'll, I'll pop it up, do some research, and I'll put that video on for you guys. You'd be so amazed. It's just mind twisting. It's like, wow. But again, the sun is cooling down. And really... What do you go what do you folks think would happen if this sun did cool down and just everything completely went black within a 72 hour time frame do you think this earth will freeze to a solid ice ball or will it be way more than that I would love to hear everybody's input on this really so anyhow that's what NASA state and this is today's statement um, you hear a lot of reviews and there's constantly, constantly updates regarding with all the flash that comes off of that sun. 
She's always got a bubble, a bubble bursting, and thank goodness we have had a couple close encounters. But again, thank goodness it wasn't big enough to actually impact us, folks. If we were to have such a big bubble burst, I mean, it's been predicted. They say the sun will throw, in, and when it does, it could be something so devastating that it would turn this planet into crisp. So who knows? It's just, I guess, time to tell, I guess. But yes, so today's info, folks, check it out. Do your research yourself. The sun is cooling down. I honestly don't think it's going to cool down in our lifetime, but you never know. One thing I've always wondered, could this sun be the next planet like Earth is? I mean, that's deep. Me personally, I honestly think the sun is slowly converting into its own planet. The sun's going to have its own life forms. And the route that we're headed, this planet's not going to last much longer. You know, it just, we all see it, we all know it. I mean, we've done so much damage to our ozone. And it's not just the cars, folks. They blame the cars for doing all of this. It's not the cars. Nuclear tests. It's all the scientific testing they're doing. They use the cars to blame us because, yes, the cars do put out emissions. They do put out pollution. But they don't put out the pollution that all these factories put out and everybody else is doing and then spraying that chemtrail crap up in our atmosphere. That's what's damaging our planet. And then all the disasters that happen. Look at Fukushima now. All these fish coming up, floating around the seas all over the place. People, this is the reason why. Because there's a bunch of nuclear activity in our ocean. It's a big cover-up. No one's talking about it. Till this day, you don't hear any information about our ocean. Our ocean, folks, is now a nuclear wasteland. There will no be any sea life probably by next year. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to be doing a lot of research digging into all these animals. I really think by next year, if we make it this far, we're not going to have sea life next year. And then we're not going to have any ice in the ocean. Everything's going to be gone. When that ice melts, folks... That's where it's going to be the triple doozy. I think so. Like I said previously in my last video, because right now Russia, they took over Ukraine. And they have moved forward. And I just read an article today that they've already stepped up a notch. And the United States is already going in for it. And so it just, folks, buckle up because we're going to have a ride of our lives. Anyhow. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to IER Info Entertainment Reviews. And on top of that, if you haven't done so already and don't know, please go visit Alex Jones Show. Go to www.infowars.com. www.infowars.com. Check them out. See for yourself. Hear the real news. Folks, thank you again for watching. Uh, one more thing, I like to say, uh, give two thumbs up to Chris and G. Those who love traveling, those who love the RV life, the outdoors, you name it, you folks love it, please go visit the Chris channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to his channel, like, share his channel, it's amazing. You guys will not be a disappointment, you will learn a lot from this couple. Again, you love the outdoors, you want to see some cool footage, you want to check out the RV living life, again, go to Chris Travels on YouTube.com. Thank you very much, and Chris, you and G, keep up the good work, you guys. Thanks for watching. More to come.